in our most recent visit to the Mara, my fellow presenter Jonathan Scott followed Kike here, undoubtedly one of the most confiding of all the cheetahs we've been lucky enough to spend time with. Kike's three cubs were around 10 months old, about ready to take their first real steps towards complete independence. And Kike has an unusual trick to teach them. <laughs> I don't believe it. <laughs> OK. This is a cheetah who hunts, who does everything that you would expect to see a cheetah in the Mara doing. The only difference is she uses these cars to her advantage. They've been part of her life for six years. And where Kike leads, her cubs soon follow. They too are discovering that a car makes an excellent vantage point. They just can't quite make it onto the roof yet. The cubs may look pretty big, but they're still totally dependent on Kike. It will be months yet before they can hunt on their own. So for now, Kike still has to provide. She's got everything going for her long grass, a topi with a newborn fawn. She's after it, she's after it. Here comes the mum. OK, watch out, because these big antelope will often come in and defend their youngsters. The trouble is, she can't really see what's going on. She's got it, she's got the car. Kike has got herself a really good meal. Mm. Newborn fawn. She's dropped the fawn. Look at that! Mm. She's been chased away. Right towards our car. Here she comes. Here she comes. Here she comes. Here she comes. Right on the car. Good girl, Kike. The topi calf survived. And so did Kike. She certainly seemed to find the cars useful. But there was a downside to getting so close to Kike. Scent marking takes on a whole new significance when you're on the receiving end of it. <laughs> no. No. Yes, that's pretty nice up there, isn't it? Okay, she's gonna, she's gonna go up. She's gonna. Oh! <laughs> <Out. laughs> no, 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 not, not, no, no. I'm going through that again. Not this time. You can climb on the roof. We're not going to be on it. 